What's poppin' dogs? Mr. Allen here. We are talking relationships versus functions here in this video. So for each relationship, determine if it is a function or not and explain, bro. All right, so in order to be a function, each input needs to have exactly one output, okay? So if I plug an X in, I shouldn't get more than one Y value, all right? That doesn't mean that a the same Y value can exist for two different X values. It's just for each input, I get exactly one output, okay? So let's look at this first one here. We got our X's, we got our Y's. Maybe we should have that listed here, X, Y. Okay, cool. So negative two maps onto zero, great. Five maps onto one and a two. I can't have that. This is my input. I got more than one output. So nope, no. Okay, my input there had more than one output, not going to be a function, it's just a relation, okay? Cool. Let's go over this graph here. I've got what looks like a negative absolute value function here. So if, if when I'm looking at a graph here, I can actually use what's called the vertical line test. And if it only goes through once, I'm good to go. This one is good to go. Notice that any X value that I pick along here, I'm only gonna have one Y value along this graph. Whereas like this one here could have looked like a sideways situation here and you have more than one Y value. So there we go. So this one is yes. Okay, easy, easy test there is the vertical line test, all right? Next one here, T-chart, woo, love T-charts. So I've got negative one maps onto three, zero maps to one, one to three, two to nine, yay! Although you might be looking like, ooh, bro, I've got, we got two of the same Y values here. That's okay, all right? If I got X values and two, the same Y value, this is actually gonna end up being like a quadratic, like a U-shaped function here, and that is okay. I can have more, or I can have the same Y value appear more than once, but I can't have the same X value, okay? So here I'd have like five comma one and five comma two. That's no bueno. I can't have the X's repeat there, okay? So X, each input only maps to one output. Here that didn't happen. Here we're good, okay? Next, I should probably put yes. It's a function, okay? Next one here. Ooh, this looks like a, kind of like an exponential reflected down, right? And again, here, I'm passing my vertical line test. So yes, this is going to be a function. Let's actually take a look at a graph here that's not going to be a function. I'm gonna give you an example of that because sometimes it's like, hey man, can you give me one of those? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a little graphy poo here, right? And then uh, I'll get a different color. I'll go with the blue here. If I had something like this, uh, let's just take our absolute value and, and have it like the other orientation, right? This is not, no, that is not going to be a function it would cross through a vertical line more than once at any of these spots over here, so it's not a function. If I were to assign some values here, let's say this is one, two, let's go three, and this is gonna be one and negative one. So here what I would have is an ordered pair of three one and three negative one, I know it's not that great a line, but what we'd see is three mapping onto one and three mapping onto negative one, kind of like we saw the five due to one and a two here, okay? So that's what you kind of see here on this graph or perhaps even in a whoop, whoop, T-chart, right? We don't want that. Okay, so there we go. We have functions, yes, yes, yes. Just relations, not functions. Dope, awesome, see you later.